Hi everyone, Donut here. I'm back from PAX and I am ready to make some content for you fine people. This isn't the longest shooting breakdown I've ever done because there's really not too much to it. I just want to show off the fine marksmanship skills of this officer with the Los Angeles Police Department. If you want to stick around though after the shooting, we're just going to dive right into a Leo recap. Los Angeles, California. July 26, 2021. 6 a.m. Officers get a call for a hot burglary. Close to the units, 449 hot for all, where the pier has no suspect description. Here's glass breaking, still on the line with her. Close three incident, 699, RD 1435. A resident at an apartment building called and said that they can hear screaming and glass breaking at their elderly neighbor's apartment. Police arrive on scene and also hear yelling. They approach the apartment and see a broken window. <laughs> When they look inside the apartment, there's a man standing behind the lady with a big kitchen knife in his hand. They give him every chance they could to drop the knife. They yell at him several times to drop the knife, but he just doesn't want to do it. He keeps approaching them, holding the knife to the elderly lady's back. And as soon as the officer gets a clear shot, he goes ahead and takes it. He wants to kill himself. Drop the knife. No. Drop the knife. No. A13, let me get back up. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. He fires one bullet from his service pistol, striking from what I can see the dude right in the forehead. This instantly hits the suspect's off button and he crumples to the ground. Fire and EMS could not save him. Risk the old lady getting stabbed or, you know, go ahead and take the shot and end the threat. The officer did what he had to do and I don't think there's any other way this could have turned out given the circumstances. That was some excellent marksmanship by that officer, especially with the dude moving his head around trying to dodge the shot. Making this video makes me think of all like the crazy one tap or super accurate shootings we've looked at on this channel. Which one of these videos that I've done, that I've covered and broke down, do you think was the hardest shot to make? We'll say the LAPD when we just watched is number one. Let's check out number two. This one I broke down last year where an officer sprints around a corner and one taps a guy holding a baby hostage. You better stop right now! Yeah, stop, stop. This one I did in 2019 from where the officer chased an active shooter through an entire shopping mall, then laid down two 145-foot fatal shots across six lanes of traffic. Or this one from a couple of months ago when the inmate had the guard hostage and one of the officers pulls out his gun with a one-handed draw and shoots the suspect in the face from the bottom of the stairs. Which one do you think is the more difficult shot for a police officer? Which one would you need the most training to make, do you think? Let's go ahead and jump into a Leo recap. This recap is going to be sponsored by Warpath. Hey, Donut, we're just waiting for uh, Kentucky to hop on. Ah, oh, sick. Yeah, he had me kind of worried when the 50 cal exploded. Same, dude. That was crazy. Are y'all talking about me? I know you're talking about me. Hey, hey Scott. Scott. Yeah, we were just talking about how awesome it is to have you back, man. Yeah, thank goodness for these thumbs. But while I was resting, I discovered Warpath, even managed to get some Katyusha rockets. Oh, wait, Warpath? Yeah, I've been playing it for a while. I have more heavy tanks than anyone I know. Uh, well, at least I did until someone took them out with rockets. Sorry, boys, I built up a badass Air Force. Even managed to put together some P-51 bomber formations. Dudes, they want to beat us at the Warpath battle. How can we allow this to happen? Join my team to fight. We'll show them how powerful we are. Warpath is a free-to-play war mobile game you can download from Google Play and the App Store. If you click the second link below and sign up, you can help me beat Brandon in Kentucky. Whoever comes in first on my team will be given a $1,000 Visa gift card. If my team wins, we will be giving away my pink sprinkled hats to the top 20 ranking players, or $50 Amazon cards for regions we can't ship, worth another $1,000 in total. Plus, everyone who signs up with the gift code Air Force 2021 will get in-game goodies for free, such as gold and acceleration props. Seriously though, we need to beat Brandon and Scott. In Warpath, I feel I'm indeed a general, using my real-time strategies and tactics to gain an advantage on the battlefield. The new update of the Air Force makes war more realistic, accommodating richer strategies and more unpredictable commands. Warpath is super fun and addicting, and plus, you can play with Jean-Claude Van Damme and build tons of real-world guns. Click the link, sign up with the code AIRFORCE2021, and let's beat down Brandon in Kentucky.
Next up, let's go over to Reddit, possibly the worst echo chamber of bullshit on the internet, except for the protect and serve subreddit and also the donut operator subreddit. I got some viral video to show you guys. It went super viral on Reddit and there were two or three posts of it on the front page for a couple of days. NYPD officers are rolling along in their scooters, which I didn't even know that they had scooters. Maybe they're trying to stand in solidarity to people who get DUIs or something. I don't know. So they're cruising along on their scooters when this guy who's doing a wheelie on the bicycle comes out of nowhere. The cop surely got up and punched him 12 times in the head, probably even shot him. Guess what the viral videos on Reddit edited out? The part where the officer gets up and says, oh, it was an accident and fist bumps the guy and lets him go on his way. Some comments are saying he's playing it up to seem injured. If that was the case, why would he get up and fist bump the guy and go on his way? I also guarantee he kind of laid there for a minute because of what this Reddit user said. I just figured that little pause before getting up was why is this my life moment? He's like, I work for a command that doesn't back me, a city that doesn't really back me either, a mayor that definitely doesn't back me. And not only that, they got me riding a fucking scooter where teenagers come out of left field and wheelie into me. Please, sweet, sweet retirement comes soon found something else on reddit because of the new hurricane coming in this month the looting has already started in new orleans reddit protect and serve user noodles 21 300 posted this can you believe this crap right here <laughs> Moving on to another Protect and Serve Reddit post. Thank you guys for all the content today. Accidental Pursuit posted El Crown Vicamino. It's like one of Brandon's cursed gun meme reviews, but with a beautiful car turned into a heinous piece of shit. With some dude like, I got this cruiser at a police auction, but I really want to carry my pressure washer in the back of it. I know what to do. Next up over to our official Donut News Network announcer, Steve Inman. So Karen decided to be a good day to show the officer what she has on her and she has a ton of crack. And now she's on the run trying to get away from the officer. The officer's like, you know what? I don't feel like running today. Boya gets the shocker of a lifetime as she lands on her teeth. Now she has summer teeth. Some are there. Some are gone. Karen must be auditioning for a job as a stripper. I'm not sure, but who the hell pulls her pants down in front of a cop like that? Cop tries to grab on, grab a hold, and instead she'll end up using her lifeline. And Karen goes from showing her ass... To eating the asphalt here tonight. Good job, Karen. Thanks, Steve. Next up, got a little video out of McAllen, Texas, where a suspect shoots himself on accident while trying to fight the police. You probably shouldn't fight police. Officers were called to an altercation where a guy was possibly drunk with a gun. They show up, he looks at them, says time to die in Spanish, and then starts to pull out a silver 380. <laughs> After being taken into custody, he continued to threaten police, and it turns out, who would have guessed, he was a violent felon who wasn't even supposed to have that gun in the first place. I just posted on Twitter a little while ago, hey, is there anything you want to see me break down or review this week? Go ahead over to Twitter, to that cesspool hellhole of a place. Put down if you want me to do something. I'm here for you. Other than that, it's all I got right now. Everybody, please go check out my vlog channel. Please go check out my gaming channel. Please check out my Raw Police Footage channel. Check out my stream, twitch.tv slash donut operator. If you want to help support the channel, bunkerbranding.com. Have, have a fantastic day.